This problem is a three-phase four-wire. So we've got a neutral now in this problem, and uh, we've got three amps purely resistive in phase. On the A phase, we have B phase, 30 degrees lagging current, and C phase, a three amp leading current. So we want to use a phase diagram to determine the value of neutral current um, determ uh, carried by the neutral. So we'll set up our three phase phaser first. A suitable scale typically for this size page would be for the voltage, we'll do one centimeter equals. 28.75 volts so that gives me the A phase voltage coming across here at uh, 8 divisions so VA at 230 volts uh, of course lagging uh, sorry out of phase with that uh, 120 degrees lagging it is lagging because of the direction of rotation of a phaser so 120 degrees later uh, the B phase comes through the reference zero point. So draw that one in the B phase VB 230 volts, our phase voltages, and another 120 degrees later for the C phase, which would be up there at 120 degrees. Um, there we go up to there so there's our three phase voltages VC at 230 volts and there's our neutral star point or the star point where the neutral is connected so, um, so we'll plot our currents onto the phaser now we've got three amps purely resistive uh, so that'll be in phase so a little current scale for the current I'll go uh, one centimeter is equal to half an amp so it can come over there at six amps, uh, sorry, six centimeters to represent three amps for the A phase current. There we go, six to that point. So IA, six amps. The B phase is two amps lagging the B phase by 30 degrees. So put your protractor there like so. Come around at 30 degrees and plot your two amps of current, which would be four centimeters long. Okay, so there's IB at uh, two amps. And IC was three amps leading the B phase by 15 degrees. So. We go along the C phase, sorry, then we go under there and an angle 15 degrees leading would be up there. So we plot in our three amps or six centimetre long C phase current. So I see at three amps. So there's our three currents in our four wire system. So we add these by phaser addition. You can pick any two phases you like. Uh, pick these two and basically make a parallelogram to add the two phases together. So the length of IB is added to the tip of IC and now the length of IC is added to the tip of IB. Scribe an arc. And where the two arcs intersect is the resultant of IB plus IC. Back to the star point there. Okay, so that's IB plus IC by phaser addition. Uh, we've got to add that value again to, uh, to the IA value to complete the phaser addition. So we'll take the length of IA and come to the tip of I B plus I C scribe an arc and then we take the length of that resultant there and come to the tip of I A to complete the parallelogram and where those two points meet in there back to the star point is your value of neutral current basically which is the resultant of the phaser addition 
so uh, well, I'll do that in blue maybe back to there okay so there's your value of I n which is three centimeters long three times 0.5 is equal to 1.5 amps in the neutral conductor.